If you are a Laravel developer, I'm pretty sure you heard the term service container or container. So do you exactly know what is service container? Hmm, you may answer me. Well, I know service container is a kind of like container that contain some sort of services. Yeah, smart enough. You are right. But do you know what is service resolver? Again, you may say, okay, looking at the term service resolver, that's actually resolved some sort of services. Smart enough, right? But do you really know how this service container works and how the resolver works under the hood? Maybe not. In that case, I may help you. Today, my aim is to explain you what is service container with a real life example and how can we implement this real life example into the core PHP classes. Let's jump into it. So there's a coffee shop. So coffee shop consider is offering a different type of coffees. For example, latte, mocha, cappuccino, whatever. So this coffee shop is considering is a container of coffee services right now when you go into the coffee shop what is happening well maybe a barrister is there you just say hey excuse me can you give me a latte big for example and barrister will tell you hey sir of course please have a seat and this is your token for example so what you need to do you just wait for latte maybe two minutes or five minutes. So what is happening? Barista take care of everything for you. Maybe after five minutes, she prepare coffee for you. Say, hey sir, your coffee is ready. So after five minutes, your coffee is ready. Your latte, you enjoy, right? Latte is a service. But do you really know how this coffee is made? Not exactly, because Barista is there to help you. She take the term latte small, medium, large. Based on that, she mix up everything with the help of machine, creamer, coffee, chocolate, milk, sugar, cocoa powder, whatever is required based on different brand. So at the end of the day, you get the service, right? So, so if we consider here, coffee shop is a service container that offers different types of coffee. Barista, the person who prepare coffee, is basically the service resolver. You just say, hey, I want latte, I want mocha, I want cappuccino. Based on this name, under the hood, she prepared everything for you. That's called service resolver. And the services is, of course, the coffee. That is the real life example. Now let's implement this concept into the core PHP logic. I have a fresh PHP application. There's nothing except the composer initiate. Let's create an interface first. This interface is basically contain a method. No matter what kind of coffee that's offered by coffee shop, always follow this interface. Let's create another class. Let's say Espresso first. This Espresso basically implements coffee. All right. Let's create another services. Maybe Cappuccino. Now I have a three types of coffee and I have a one interface that's following all types of coffees. Now I need to create a class that's called coffee shop. In coffee shop class, I have a method, its name register. So bas basically register is taking the name of the coffee and a callable argument. This register is not doing anything except doing this recipes the name of the coffee that's passing coffee name and make it so declare a property that's it now another method i create is called serve serve takes an argument that's called coffee name and it's basically check with this recipe whether this coffee name is set if it doesn't contain it say hey something wrong we don't offer this kind of coffee Otherwise, if this coffee name match into the recipe and then call user fun function that's offered by PHP and then execute whatever we pass in the make callable. 
option here and then and call the sub method from that class all right now let's run this one how can we do it to run this one well maybe first of all we need to say coffee shop and then new coffee shop now since i initiate the coffee shop i need to add some sort of coffee type right coffee shop register let's say i want latte latte right maybe we can inline that what else i want cappuccino what else i may need espresso Uh, espresso what ah uh, man i made some mistake so it's espresso not espresso all right why not okay do refactor all right so come here espresso okay now what is happening first i initiate the coffee shop i register different types of coffee now for the services i always say that hey eco coffee shop serve latte what else cappuccino what else espresso and then when somebody is asking hey i want mocha hmm, well mocha will always say that hey something wrong because mocha is not registered into our services that is what exactly the services and service container the coffee shop is a basically class that contain all the information. First of all, you need to register via this method. This method basically get the name of the services and callable things that you pass and put into one array. And then serve based on whatever you registered, you, it's look into here. If it doesn't find, it's basically say, hey, we don't offer these services. Or if found it, just found the appropriate callable things and call based on the interface that we offered here in SARP. I hope it makes sense to you already. If you have confusion still, feel free to write down your comments in the comment section below. I will try to explain as much as possible. By the way, there is a text version of this video. So if you are interested to know, just check out the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.